Welcome to Gab Talk, where we provide tools, tips, and techniques to help your life and business be easier, better, and faster. Hello, hello, everybody. How are you today? Welcome to our next episode of Gap Talk Success Tips from Experts. Today, I am bringing to you a really interesting and incredible expert who talks about romance and relationships. And we're going to take some of that information and apply it to your business as well as your personal life. So today's expert is Bill Scalziti. Hey, Bill, how are you today? I'm well, thank you. And yourself? I'm doing fantastic, especially because I get to talk to you. So Bill, you and I met online, oh gosh, over a year ago, maybe even two years ago now. We've been in and out of different meetings and gotten to know each other. And you have shared some really interesting advice along the way. And I thought our audience would really resonate with some of the things you have to say. So will you share with us about your expertise? Well, my expertise, Gab, is in helping single people find the love they've always been looking for. I'm not a matchmaker. I call it, a, I'm itself a dream weaver because I work with what's going on inside their head that's been keeping them from finding and having the relationship they so desire. I think that's something a lot of people have had to deal with. You and I've talked about that quite a bit. And in fact, you have your own story about that, that basically led you down the path to being a relationship expert today. Will you share that with us? Sure. I was always into relationships. I'm a romantic at heart. I was a musician. I loved love song. And I got married at a young age and the marriage didn't last. It failed after seven years. And I said, how does something that starts out so joyously crash and burn in a rubble of heartbreak and disaster? And I just wanted an answer to that question. I started reading books on relationships. And then I was in a business in New York City where I had access to lots of people. I was in a sales consultants agency. And I got to asking people questions. I just wanted answers for me. I wasn't looking to make a business out of it or doing it. I just wanted to find out. I said, so if someone was divorced, I'd say, how don't you meet your spouse and why did it end? And single people, I said, tell me what's going on in the singles world. Are you happy? Do you have good relationships? What happens when you meet people? How long the relationships last? All this type of stuff. And one thing led to another. And I just was so fascinated by it. And I started to give lectures at places in New York City. And I was doing talks on it. And it just became like something I would help my friends. If my friend told me, oh, I just met somebody new. I said, all right, sit down. Let's talk about this. You know, I got some ideas for you. And I'd start telling them some of the things I was putting together. And this methodology just started to develop. All I was looking for was an answer so I could have a happy relationship. And I wound up finding something that other people resonated with because it was a big aha moment when they said, oh my God, I could really find and have the relationship I always desired. Wow. Tell me more. And that's what I did. That's incredible. Sometimes people wind up becoming experts because they intend to, and sometimes they become experts by accident. And sometimes it's just life pushes them in that direction, just like you. It just became such a passion of mine to be yeah. able to help people because I think like the sign says, loneliness sucks. And I think people want relationships. I but do too. We hear so many stories. A lot of people are just scared and you don't have to be. Yeah. Well, we're not really meant to be alone. That doesn't mean we have to be always in love relationships, but we are meant to be interacting with other people. So yeah, loneliness definitely sucks. Will you share with us about an influence that led you down this path? Well, I think the biggest influence that led me down the path I'm on now were all the people that I had spoken to and the people that seemed to enjoy and resonate with what I was saying to them. Yeah. And it made sense because I kept telling people, it's your choice. You have a choice in who you get into a relationship with. You don't have to accept everyone who says, would you go out with? Me? And that's how the name Romance by Choice came to be, because it is your choice. And one of the things that we talked about was your background with sales and analytics and all of that kind of stuff that really helped you 
to be comfortable asking people these questions and come up with the questions to ask in the first place. Yes, it, you know, it's a simple methodology. It's not complicated. It's not great theories and everything else. It's simple stuff. I guess the biggest problem is getting people to love and respect themselves. Hello, hello, awesome listener. Thank you so much for joining us today at Gab Talk Success Tips from Experts. We're going to take a short break and say thank you to our sponsors. It is through the generous support of these sponsors that we are able to bring to you these amazing experts that are sharing their best tips for your success. So please listen to what our sponsors have to say, and hopefully they're going to inspire you that you're going to click their links and go support them. It's time to take a vacation from processed foods. The Ultimate Lifestyle Transformation Kit will upgrade the way you look, feel, and perform or will give you your money back, guaranteed. By taking a vacation from processed foods, you will detoxify your organs, cleanse your cells, and remove chemicals from your gut. And once you begin to nourish your cells and balance your hormones, you may notice increased energy, lower stress, deeper sleep, heightened mental clarity, improved digestion, and sexy lean muscle. Any of that sound interesting to you? You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. You already eat every day, and what you eat really matters. This is your chance to upgrade your food, upgrade your health, and upgrade your life. Introducing Boost by GoV, a high-end, first-in-class, fuel catalyst tablet that is taking the world by storm. How would you like to save money on gas and go further on every single tank? The new MPG is here. Get more miles per gallon, boost power and performance, and reduce emissions and exhaust. What would you say if you could pay less and make fewer trips to the gas pump? It's time to wake up and get on the move. What are you waiting for? Get more out of life and join the GoV experience today. Scan the QR code or check the show notes for more information. In fact, you and I were talking about this earlier before we started the interview. And when I asked you about the younger audience or when you could go back and talk to your own younger self, your piece of advice, I think this was the direction you were going in, yeah? Absolutely. I mean, the best piece of advice I could give to any young person is to figure out who they are and how they choose to live the rest of their life and who do they choose to live it with. I tell all young people, go out, date, have fun. But don't get too serious because you have a life to plan. Plan your life first or someone else is going to plan it for you. And that's not going to be fun. Nope. And I think there's a lot of people out there that wind up falling into that kind of a situation. I mean, we're, I was having a conversation with somebody not that long ago and we were talking about being in high school and college and like this idea that we have to make these decisions when we're really young, when we're really not ready. I love your advice on just go out and live life. Yes, live it. Get some experiences, meet people, see what they're like, because that'll help you in being able to figure out what you choose from all the people that you meet. So will you please share with us, because when we were talking earlier, you had some really great insights that you know, resonate with me. I know it will resonate with our audience as well. Will you share with us a couple of tips that will help our audience, our listeners get that much closer to their own success in romance? Well, uh, we've already mentioned a couple. You have to love and respect yourself. But one of the areas that we always have a lot of fun with, with the clients, is when we talk about online dating and why people think online dating is a horrible, awful experience. People say, oh, I don't want to do any more online dating. It's terrible. All you meet are a bunch of jerks online, blah, 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 blah. And I say, no, that's because you don't know how to use it. And when I teach people how to use online dating, how to make sure the photos that they put online are photos that are going to resonate with the audience they're looking at. And I always use the expression to people, 
see yourself as others see you, not as you see yourself. Because a lot of times people put pictures up there and I say, why do you have that picture up there? I think it's a great picture of me. I said, but I don't. And you have to see what other people see. I've seen you and I know the real you. That picture isn't you. And the, they, they write profiles. They always say, I like dancing and swimming and going to hikes and working to the park and all this stuff. And nobody pays attention to it because they're all saying the same thing. But when you write a profile about the person you're looking for, then that person who reads it can say, oh my God, that's me. That person is looking for. And you may get a lot less in the way of responses. You get fewer responses. But those responses you get are going to be so much better. And often quality is far better than quantity. Absolutely. Absolutely. You need to be very specific in what you put into a profile so that people know. And then if they contact you and they're obviously saying things or a part of something that isn't what's in your profile, you know, they didn't bother to read it. So you can therefore just say, you know, Don't even respond. And how people respond is another important thing. Oh, yeah. Too much texting. I've had clients tell me, I say, you've been in a relationship recently? And they say, oh, yeah, I met someone online. We were in the relationship for about three months. And I said, what were they like? They said, I don't know. We never met. We just texted each other for three months. And (laughs) I said, that's not a relationship. (laughs) Stop texting. Use Zoom or FaceTime. I, you know, it's funny. I am a texter, but I'm also a Zoom person. I like to get, I prefer doing text messages because I'm on Zoom a lot. If you call me and I'm on Zoom, I usually don't answer, right? But I like to take it from the, the written word to the visual because then you actually get to know the person that you're talking to. Just because you and I are on opposite coasts, 3,000 miles apart, you and I know each other very well because you can see my body movement. You can see my, um, most of my body language and such, and you can hear the inflection in my tone. So I think that's awesome. Yeah. The other thing too, is people always say, people put pictures that are 20 years younger online. Mm -hmm. They don't lie about their pictures. I said, well, when you get on Zoom or FaceTime, that takes care of that, doesn't it? (laughs) Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. It's little things sometimes that make a big difference. Yeah. I, I don't know if I ever told you, I did actually meet somebody. I did online dating a number of years ago, and I did meet somebody that I fell in love with. But unfortunately, there were some non-negotiables that we just couldn't get past, which was very frustrating because we both very much love each other. But um, one of the things that you and I talked about before we started the interview was the standards and non-negotiables as well. Exactly. Everyone needs to, my whole entire program is all about getting you to create an imperative list, an important list, and a deal breaker list, the red flags. And the minute, and I teach people how to date. So how do you ask the questions to get the answers you need to know? And you're getting answers to those red flag questions. And the minute a red flag pops up, get out because people don't change. And it's easy to end a relationship before your heart and mind is involved in it. Too often, you don't find these red flags until you've been with someone for several months. And now you're getting to care about this. I don't care. I think there's, oh, you can always find something about everyone that is likable. Yeah. And sometimes you find things and you get attached to a person, even though you hate a lot of other things about. Them. And that's where the people can't. That's where the breakups don't happen. That's why all the bad and abusive relationships wind up. On each episode of Gab Talk Success Tips from Experts, we like to highlight a hero sponsor who is a business that chooses to highlight a do-good organization in their own community that is bettering the world. Today's hero sponsor is... Hello world, this is Z, or you can call me Mr. Z. I am a web developer and I am also a consultant from Z World Webs. Today I want to highlight Nancy's house. Because Nancy's House is a nonprofit organization that breaks the isolation and exhaustion that can come with taking care of someone who is chronically ill or disabled. Nancy's House also builds a community of support and offers self-care skills 
with one- and three-day in-person respite retreats, online workshops, and much more. To learn more about Nancy's House, please visit their website at www.nancys-house.org. The link can be found in the show notes. So with that being said, my name is Z from Z World Webs, and let's develop a website Z World is waiting for. So I just want to steer this a little bit off to a slightly different topic for a moment, because most of the people that are listening or watching are business people, sales folks, entrepreneurs, and they might say, why am I listening to personal love advice on an entrepreneurial channel? So I want to just point out for a moment, many of the things that Bill is talking about today in our personal romance life is very translatable to when you are going out and starting a business, getting a job, being involved in different companies or sales or deciding what direction you're going to do in your work life. And the other thing that Bill and I have talked about is having a balance of your personal life and romance and your work life and having them be complementary to each other. If one is out of whack, it's very easy for the other one to be out of whack as well. So I think that Bill is a person that all of you should definitely take an opportunity to get to know, learn how he can help you. Sometimes that romance stuff, maybe you're in a marriage that you've been just fine for years and years and years, but you can actually get some great nuggets on how to apply the tools and tips to your business life or your family relationships as well. So Bill, will you tell everyone how they can reach out to you and find out more information? Well, the best way to reach out to me is to go to my website, romancebychoice.com. All of my contact information is there, my Facebook, my Instagram, my LinkedIn. There's plenty of information, information about my audio book, Romance by Choice, same name. And it's all there. And then be happy to hear from any. You could email me, call me, uh, whatever. I'd be happy to chat with anyone and see if you guys would be a good candidate for my program. So we'll make sure the link is in the show notes and in the description below. We'll also make sure that Bill's social media and the link to his book is available for you guys. Reach out to Bill, find out how he can help you. He's got such a wealth of information and knowledge to share. And I definitely am very blessed to have had a friendship with Bill for the last two years. You guys, make sure you click the subscribe button. Don't forget to select the reminder so you get notified when our next episode is publishing. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We hope you got value today. We want to give a huge shout out of gratitude to our contributors. Please make sure you click the subscribe button below and don't forget to click the bell up above to get reminders when we add new content.